What's the deal with Coachtopia? Is it a greenwashing marketing gimmick or a sincere effort to make Leathercraft better? I have received numerous questions from my audience eager to understand the concept behind Coachtopia. It is eco-friendly initiative from Coach recently came about and I went onto the website understanding it is intending to revolutionize leather crafting by eliminating waste, reusing recycled materials and changing the game for the betterment of the craft. However, as I delved further into the website, I found myself confused just like my audience. The descriptions of the materials were vague, leaving me in an uncertainty. Let's be honest, today we want to understand things quick as we're browsing online products. Unfortunately, we don't click around to read all the details and try to decipher indirect descriptions. Despite my confusion, I decided to take a chance and purchase the Argo shoulder bag made with Coachtopia leather so we can dive deep and understand what this was about. Upon opening the box, I gave it a nice close inspection, only to find the texture disappointingly plasticky, especially compared to my previous Coach purchases. To get further details about the material used, I reached out to customer service, only to be directed back to the website. Determined to find answers, I examined the leather types mentioned on Coachtopia website. There were three different leather terms used in the website. First, there was the regenerative leather, which sounded like a cutting edge alternative to traditional leather made in a lab environment, mimicking a real leather look. But as I read further, I realized it was the leather made with hides sourced from forward-thinking farms with advanced regenerative farming practices. This was not a difference from a leather standpoint, but more to support forward-thinking farmers who improve the environmental and animal welfare practices in the agriculture industry. I'm aware of these developments from the European tanneries and I love it. However, I couldn't find any products made with this type of leather on the Coachtopia site. There were a few options on the regular coach side and those were definitely more expensive leather options due to the costly process of sourcing it. The second term was the upcrafted leather and it was the easiest to understand out of all three. These were the actual small pieces left over from coach's regular production and they're too small to make out of any other craft. But if you patch them together and accomplish a larger surface then you might be able to make a bag again. And this concept is really cool but it's nothing new. 20 years ago when we were making leather jackets in Istanbul, all the leather scraps left over from our production was going to some families who did this tedious patchwork. They turned them into jackets and vests, which cost about a third or quarter of the price of a regular jacket made out of a real virgin leather. So seeing a big player like Coach trying to reevaluate their waste and making something out of it is really promising because I cannot even imagine how much waste leather they're generating making out of tens of millions of leather products every year. This is very promising, but the only concern I had on that side was the price of these items because they were almost as close to the, their regular leather products, which made me question the value I'm getting out of this purchase. Lastly, there was the Coachtopia leather, which had the most ambiguity for me. Although it sounded like old bonded leather, I wasn't very sure because of the indirect descriptions on the website. For that reason, I went ahead and ordered this Argo shoulder bag made with Coachtopia leather so we could find answers on my dissection table here. All right, so we applied acetone and removed basically everything on top, which is a thick layer of plastic that's made to look like leather again. And underneath there is a fabric base that is holding some leather dust glued on the back end. So this is a very uh, interesting approach. This is a mix between bonded leather and PU leather. Basically leather dust on the back seems like a bonded leather approach, but a PU finish with a fabric backing is a PU faux leather approach. So that's kind of combined to make this product, they call it Coachtopia leather. But I think it is definitely not leather. The name and the descriptions are quite misleading. Uh, I don't consider these things as leather and it's just uh, another leather imitating product. 
So the accent details is the only real leather part on this item. I love it. It's a pigmented um, cowhide, uh, very consistent with quality coach leather I found in any other regular coach products. As we've seen here now, this is the IKEA particle board of leathers, and this is nothing new. People have been using these materials to pass it as leather for much cheaper prices, actually. Bonded leathers, PU leathers that imitate the look, but the appeal was it's a lot cheaper. And sometimes I've seen clever naming practices to convince you this may be leather somehow with really low cost. So for instance, if I bought something like this off of Amazon for much less of this price, I would be very disappointed if the naming wasn't clear telling this was bonded leather or PU leather to me. So now I'm even more disappointed because in this scenario, I paid a lot more. It's almost at the price level of a virgin leather product off of regular coach catalog. But now I'm finding out this is a reinvention between bonded and PU leathers. It's nothing leather in, in, in essence. So it kind of makes me feel like this is um, not as pure intention as I thought it to be from the initial, um, initial research and especially for this Coach Topia material. And it makes me question the opportunistic approach behind this initiative why a company like Coach being in leather business for 80 years and having beautiful leathers and craftsmanship for over those decades, why now jumping to this PU or bonded leather wagon? I think it's, it's, I smell a lot of trendy opportunistic business approaches. Nothing wrong, you, you know, we are businesses and they're into make uh, money for out of all these operations. But I think it definitely deserves a, a lot more clear description of this, what material this is. And probably the pricing should be a lot cheaper to justify what you're getting for that price. This doesn't make the product entirely garbage. I still recognize the value of taking some waste material and making something out of it. It's absolutely valuable for a circular economy approach, but they definitely deserve a lot less prices and um, labeling them at this price point is definitely not convincing me that I'm getting enough value out of my money. And two other things I found on the Coachtopia side that got my attention. One is the community approach to their design process here. They say it's a collaborative design approach where a lot of people contribute ideas to make things with these renewed and recycled materials. I think it's a very nice approach to break our dependency to a few big designer names and have a lot more talent pouring into the industry, benefiting all of us eventually, that's my hope. And the other thing is using much more recycled and renewable materials, other materials in, in the bags, like inner lining, the fabrics are a lot more recycled, the plastic hardwares are made with renewable recycled resins, um, the Eva soles and things like that made with more eco-friendly materials. So these are all other commendable aspects of this project. I think overall this is a well-intended project, not refined enough yet, especially in the definition and presentation of the material used here, perhaps in the pricing structure of what they command in the market. Um, it may get a lot better than what it is today. Eventually, it's a new initiative and, and it, it takes time to improve things. Hopefully, I see this Coachtopia initiative go that route because Coach is a huge player in the industry and they leading the way towards a betterment of this craft is a good thing for all of us. I just would like to see um, improved versions of these uh, material descriptions. And for now, if you're a leather enthusiast, I may recommend you to stick with regular Coach catalog as they use beautiful leathers, beautiful craftsmanship with great prices. And maybe stay off from especially the Coach Topia leather. If you get something from the upcrafted leathers, that might be worth it because it is eventually a real leather, small pieces patched together as a new craft coming to world again. I hope my insights help you understand the Coach Topia ecosystem a little better and make better decisions according to your preferences. And please let me know what else we should look next into the leather world and explore it together.